From wave riding power harvesters to artificial suns, lots of companies are working toward developing new ways to produce energy more sustainably. Here's some of the most exciting renewable energy tech we're keeping an eye on in 2024. We kick things off with the Waveline Magnet, which can use wave energy for desalination, producing hydrogen fuel, and generating electricity. This prototype has been in development for over 10 years, and the result is a unique design with four basic components. The spine runs down the middle and provides the structure. The platform is what connects the Waveline Magnet to the surface of the water, levers connect the platform to the spine, and pumps gather up seawater and pressurize it. This pressurized water is what's used to harness wave power for various purposes. Waveline magnets can be built large, small, or anything in between, depending on the wave conditions and goals of the project. The company's co-CEO, Alex Zakeos, told us that the first commercial Waveline magnet will likely be a smaller sized unit focused on desalination. Wave energy has long been an engineering challenge due to the ocean's punishing waves and corrosive saltwater. But the variety of approaches and innovative companies hard at work on finding solutions means we'll be keeping an eye on it. Another tough nut to crack has been fusion power. While critics say it always seems to be at least a decade away, significant milestones keep getting passed, and each one brings the potential of a partially fusion-powered future closer to reality. In December of 2022, the National Ignition Facility at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory achieved its first net energy gain, meaning the team produced a fusion reaction that generated more energy than the amount required to trigger the reaction in the first place. This feat was repeated in July of 2023, producing an even higher energy yield. While generating a net gain is a big achievement, to become a viable energy source, fusion reactors will have to produce roughly 10 times the amount of energy that goes into them, and they'll have to do it regularly. With several huge fusion projects in various stages of development all around the world, including ITER in France, the Joint European Taurus in the UK, and numerous fusion facilities in China, there's a lot to look out for in this space. Finally, we're going to wrap it up with some novel applications of a staple renewable, solar. With more companies seeking to position themselves in the market as environmentally friendly or sustainable options, solar is evolving in where and how it can be put to use. I got to ride in the Aptera last year, a car that was designed top to bottom with solar in mind. The aerodynamic shape is designed to maximize efficiency and make the most of the onboard solar panels. And while some solar cars like the Sonos Sion struggled to raise funds, interest in the idea of solar cars seems to remain. Solar power is also finding its way into Windows with the dawn of transparent solar, pushed forward by companies like Solar Window and Ubiquitous Energy. We also saw solar power incorporated into the fight against forest fighters with Dryad Networks, a company that makes a network of electronic noses that can sense burning forest materials and send signals to first responders for earlier detection. What green tech did we miss? Let us know down in the comments and check out more of our renewable energy stories right here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Jesse Orl. See you next time with the fam.